Hi there, and welcome back to the Amaretti Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a fall sangria using our black cherry craft puree, as well as our vanilla bean syrup. So if you're ready, let's get started. So our first step is going to be adding our vanilla bean syrup, our black cherry craft puree, Grand Marnier, and orange juice. So just three pumps of this syrup. And the cool thing about this is you can actually see the vanilla beans in it. So you know this is the, this is the real deal here. And next we're gonna add in two ounces of our black cherry craft puree, two ounces of Grand Marnier, and four ounces of orange juice. And I'm just gonna stir this up really nice to combine the syrup with all of our liquid. Our next step is going to be adding our cherries and plums into our alcohol, orange juice, and craft puree mixture here. So these are just two plums diced up. Make sure they're nice and ripe just to get the most flavor as possible. And this is about 10 cherries. I highly recommend using a cherry pitter to cut these. And we're gonna give this one more good mix and we're gonna to top it off with some Malbec wine. You could do the whole bottle, depending on the pitcher you have here. And then one more last mix, make sure everything's nice and incorporated. So I do recommend letting this sit for at least two hours for all of the flavors to meld together. But if you're ready to drink it now, that is absolutely not a problem. Just pour it in some wine glasses and top it with some ice. And I'm just gonna garnish these with a fresh sliced orange here, and then I put a nice cherry in the middle of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed our fall sangria recipe. If you do make this at home, be sure to tag us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Amoretti. Also, be sure to subscribe to our newsletter and our channel. We'll see you next time.